Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Superpower User. My name is Stanley and in this video, we're gonna be mounting the radiators and the fans together and throwing it into the build. In the last video, I did the whole Mayhem's Blitz kit, cleaning out the radiators so they're ready to go. They're clean and been flushed out. And what I've got here are 32 uh, General Typhoon AP13 120 millimeter fans that we're gonna be mounting on the radiators. So I've got four 480 millimeter radiators and we're gonna be running in a push-pull for configuration. So four fans on top, four fans on bottom per radiator. So let's get to mounting. One thing to keep in mind is the length of the screw. Uh, what I've got here are actually two different length screws, uh, as you can see here. One is designed to go through the case and then hold the fans to the radiator. The other is designed to just mount the fans directly to the radiator. Now, normally if you have um, a screw that is too long, that goes all the way through, very likely it will actually puncture the radiator unless you have a metal bump stop to prevent that from happening. These Alpha Cold radiators do have that metal strip and actually I know uh, I have had a few accidents before where I've used the wrong screw and that bump stop has definitely saved the radiator from a puncture because I used the wrong screw. Now I'm going to be using a drill to screw in these screws into the fans and into the radiator. I totally don't recommend using a drill because it's very difficult to control the power or the speed. This is a totally of case of do as I say, not as I do. I just have too many fans and screwing these things in by hand will just take way too long. So I'm willing to take the risk. Anyway, this radiator right here is the bottom radiator on the main compartment side of my case. Um, now, these are gonna be on the top side, so these are gonna be the pull fans. Being that they are the pull fans, that means I need the short screws because this isn't gonna go through any cases. So I've got a pile of the short screws and a pile of the long screws. So I'm gonna start screwing these things in. Now, I actually can't put the bottom fans onto the radiator right now. What I need to do is put the fans into the case and put the radiator on top and then drill through the case. So we'll put this on the side for now. This one is gonna be the one up mounted to the top. So what I could do again is mount the fans that are gonna be on the pull side, the ones that are facing the bottom. All right, pro tip here. Uh, when you mount these fans onto the radiator, be aware of which way the fan cable comes out for two reasons. One is that uh, it looks much better so that when, if your fans are, fan cables are coming out the same way, you can see all the labels, stickers are facing the same way and it's just much more organized. The next, the second thing is that you can uh, wire it in a way that when all your fan cables come out, it comes out in the corner of the fan, in the same corner, so that you can pull them all together and put it into your fan header or whatever. Um, because this side is the back side of the radiator that's gonna be against the case, you're not gonna be able to see it, so that's why I have all of the fan cables coming out on this side. All right, now it's time to get the first radiator into this case here. So what I'm gonna have to do is put the fans down first and then get the radiator on top and screw in from the bottom. So let's start with this one. Right. What I've got here, I've got the fans in now and the plan is to pull air in from the bottom and exhaust out the top. And I chose the white fans, because I don't actually want to see the white fans uh, anymore. I want to 
hide the white fans, so they're gonna be in the really in the very bottom. Now that this side is wired up and ready to go, we'll flip to the other side to get the other side done. Now, pro tip, to make this a lot easier, you can actually wire this up to the splitter before you put the radiators in so that you don't have to go digging around for the wires um, after you've put your radiators in. So, uh, you know, just get your fan splitters in. Now the trick is to try not to pinch any wires while you're at it because uh, if you do, you might actually snap some of the wires, the fan wires, especially if they're not upgraded. Another pro tip is that uh, if you have hard, uh, very, very hard connections that connect from radiator to radiator, it, you might want to consider putting the connections or linking them together before you screw down the radiator because when you screw down the radiator, you, the radiators won't be able to move anymore. Uh, if you leave it a little bit loose, then you can get your connections in and then you can tighten down the radiators. This is the bottom side of the computer. Uh, you can see all the fans are completely exposed. I'm not gonna bother running with a fan filter uh, or dust filter on the fans. I used to have them and they would blind over really quickly. And while it's true I wouldn't get any dust, uh, I would have to clean them very often. And I kinda wanna just see what happens if uh, I don't run with a fan or dust filter for six months. You know, maybe, maybe it gets a little dusty inside the computer, but perhaps some compressed air can clean it all out. I don't know. What we'll be doing is screwing in the fans. Now, one last thing you need to check is to make sure that you haven't caught any of the wires inside the fan. So the fan wires, um, you know, I actually had a wire caught in here, so you make sure you to pull it out before you screw this all down.
And there you go. I've got all four radiators mounted into the case with the fans already attached. It also wired up to the fan splitters. And I've also got both reservoirs already mounted into the case. And all that's left to do, I have to do is to mount the motherboard onto the tray and slide that tray in. And then all the rest of the tubing and water cooling bits. And then of course the wiring and whatever. So this build is coming quite along quite nicely and should be finishing within the next couple days. If you like what you see, please hit that like button and perhaps consider subscribing to see the rest of this build. We'll see you in the next one.